Welcome to the Welch Allen Retina View RV100 Imager Users Technique Video Guide. This video guide will demonstrate the proper techniques to quickly and accurately acquire fundus images. Chapter 1 What to Expect Preparing the Patient Ask your patient to sit in the exam room with the lights dimmed for five minutes. This will allow their pupils to fully dilate. Let them feel the collapsible eye cup. Contact lenses may remain in place. Eyeglasses must be removed. Direct the patient to sit up straight, keep their head still, and to focus their gaze on the green light inside the RV100. Both eyes should remain open. However, the patient should cover their unexamined eye with their hand. Blinking is permitted but urge patients to keep both eyes open as wide as possible. They will see a brief flash of light when the RV100 digital image is captured. The RV100 instantly displays an image on the LCD and notifies you if the image meets the quality requirements for specialist review or if you should acquire a higher quality image of the eye. Chapter 2. How to Hold the Welch Allen Retina View Imager the RV100 must be held level and in line with your patient's eye. Hold the display end of the RV100 as shown here with your dominant hand. The patient end of the device will be held with just the thumb and forefinger. The small and ring finger will be used to steady the device by anchoring them gently on the patient's forehead. The front hand is the hand that you will use to gently guide, reposition, and adjust the RV100 while scanning the retina. Small micro-adjustments work best. Chapter 3. Proper Positioning for Yourself and the Patient The RV100 must be held level. And in line with your patient's eye. There are two recommended arrangements to properly position yourself and the patient for a fast and successful retinal scan. To use the RV100 with an exam table, have your patient sit at the table's edge. Instruct them to sit up straight with their head looking forward and held stationary during the entire procedure. You will stand directly in front of them. You and your patient may find it more comfortable to use the RV100 while seated and it may make it easier for you to position the RV100 properly. You should sit directly in front of them. Chapter 4. How to align the Welch Allen Retina View Imager and acquire fundus images. Touch Start to enter the image acquisition mode. Ask your patient to look at the green light inside the RV100 and to cover but not close their unexamined eye. Hold the RV100 imager so that it is the same height as the patient's eye. Hold the RV100 two to three inches directly in front of the patient's eye. Again, be certain the RV100 is level and in line with the patient's eye. Search for a white circular reflection at the top of the eye image displayed on the LCD screen as shown. This is your initial target. Guide the green circle on the RV100 LCD screen towards the white circular reflection by slowly moving the RV100 towards the eye. The collapsible eye cup will begin to compress against the patient's eye socket, and the fundus image will increase in size until it fills the screen. Remember, use the two free fingers of your front hand to secure the device by resting them on the patient's forehead. Once the RV100 is positioned correctly and the image has filled the screen, continue to push forward slightly. A reflection shaped like a bubble will appear when you are in the proper position. This is your target. Simply align the bubble inside the diamond icon as shown by moving the patient end of the RV100 toward the bubble. Note, you may have to move the RV100 slightly toward or away from the patient or slightly left or right to locate the bubble. The RV100 will lock in and automatically acquire the digital image once the bubble has been positioned inside the diamond icon. The patient will experience a brief flash of light. Note, if the bubble is very large, it indicates that the RV100 is too close. 
To correct this, back the RV100 away from the patient slightly. An audible tone will alert you that the image has been captured. The acquired image will be displayed. A green check mark signals the image is of sufficient quality for clinical review. Tap the check mark and proceed to image the patient's left eye following the same steps. A red X, when displayed as shown, indicates that the captured image was not acceptable for clinical review and that fundus must be re-imaged. Once the left eye is successfully imaged, tap the Accept check mark. You will then see the exam summary screen. Tap Save, and your exam will be saved to the RV100. Place the RV100 on the docking station that is connected to a PC running the RetinaView network software. The exam is now ready for transfer through the RetinaView network. For complete software navigation, please refer to the RetinaView Network Quick Start Guide.